All right. Uh, in studio uh, with uh, a fellow a few years ago, we'd have been doing this as a Little League interview, Matt. <laughs> Just a couple years Just ago. Just a couple years ago, this young man would have been doing. Uh, what's great is that you and I have both been around long enough that people who we broadcast their games have children mm -hmm. who are now playing games that uh, could be broadcast. Tony Lewis, how are you this morning? I'm doing well, thanks. How are those kids doing? They're doing very well. Doing what, what do they do? Playing soccer? Yes. At Martinsburg? Yes. yes. Yeah, yep. what, what grades? Uh, I have a senior, uh, Olivia, uh, is a senior at Martinsburg High School this year, and then I'll have a uh, freshman, Ava, going in this year as a freshman. I've got I've got a niece named Ava. It's a good name. It's a beautiful name. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you graduated in 96? Yes, sir. And you played football, baseball, basketball there? Uh, football and baseball. Football and baseball. Yes, sir. And you run the state championship Vic Holmes uh, baseball team. That is correct. Yeah. Five. And your last year playing football, Mick Razel was the coach, right? That, that is correct. Yeah, okay. That Very good. Correct. Yeah, so... Uh, when I was talking to you on the phone to set this up and going back and forth, texting, whatever, I'm thinking, I know that name, but I can't remember what year, <laughs> but I knew the name very well. And you kind of straightened all that out before, uh, hand. Yes, sir. It's been a while. Yeah. What have you been doing since high school? Uh, I finished up at Shepherd and, uh, got my, uh, master's degree at Morgantown, uh, worked in industry and now work for the power company and, uh, work in the heavy industry side of things. So, um, just uh, investing in the community and, and uh, raising kids and enjoying where we live. Being a, a solid tax-paying citizen. I'm trying. I'm yeah, trying man. every day. And also, you're deeply involved with the Alumni Association. That is correct. So I'm here today to speak on behalf of the Marchburg Alumni Association, uh, you know, to bring some awareness to the team that we have and some of the things that we do. Uh, the Marchburg Alumni has been around for since 1910, uh, you know, we, um, we have a beautiful thing going with the community that we have. It's a multi-generational type community where we have uh, families that uh, have students that eventually have families that become students mm -hmm. yet again. And I'm a prime example of that. Uh, um, you know, my, my parents went to Martinsburg, I have aunts and uncles that went there uh, that have been successful through the years. My kids are going there. And I uh, want to bring awareness, especially with the growth that we've had in the area. Um, we have a lot of new people moving in and uh, really want them to, to have a true understanding in the sense of, of what we really got uh, as being such a special thing at, at Marchburg High School. Very nice. And, and you already had your event. Correct. Uh, this past weekend, was it? That is correct. Yeah. Yes. Um, we have a, an alumni banquet every year. Uh, it's typically on Memorial Day weekend. Um, in the past, we've had a dinner. Uh, in the last couple of years, we've done a luncheon, and that's, that seemed to have worked pretty well. Um, it's typically uh, $25 for a ticket, and uh, you, can, you can get tickets through either uh, Patterson's Drugstore or at, down at the Jordan Hess uh, Floral Shop. Uh, you can also reach out to Dale Hicks, who was my <laughs> English teacher and still going strong and, and does an excellent job with the group with all of our finances. Uh, you can still reach out to him to get a ticket uh, for $25. And we do that every year. And it's, it's really um, designed to be a celebration of the, uh, the graduating class. So this year to celebrate the, the class for 2024, but also pull in all the alumni that are, are local or traveling in that would like to participate and be part of that, uh, be part of that luncheon or an event. Mr. Miller, who's, all, by the way, an orange jacketed Hall of Fame. <laughs> I still don't know how that happened, but I'm grateful. That's for sure. Um, yeah, and Mr. Hicks was uh, was teaching me in uh, a part of his yearbook class uh, 10, 11 years before your graduation. So Mr. Hicks has been around. That's yes. for sure. Uh, how was the turnout for for the weekend? I think they had a pretty good turnout. I was actually at a soccer tournament uh, this weekend. That seems to be the state of where I am right now. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, we have a really good group that uh, that supports. The organization there. Um, I was talking with Anita Cooper, um, yeah. and everybody knows Anita and Larry. They're just great people, and they're currently, you know, heading down for the baseball tournament. But uh, they had a really, uh, really good uh, turnout. They had a good group that uh, went through. Um, we had uh, 15 scholarships uh, that were announced at a thousand dollars a piece. And that's, you know, that's one of the big parts of the Alumni Association is we get dues and, and donations that come in. We try to manage that, that money very well, mm -hmm. um, investing back in the school and investing back in the kids, especially academically. Um, you know, we, we have a, a long line, a good history of strong academic success in Martinsburg High School. And it continues to it continues to show. Um, I uh, I went online and was looking at a few things and uh, saw some stuff that the the, the, the county had posted. Um, we have 100 graduates heading to college uh, out of Martinsburg High School, a class of 329 new alum, 
roughly two million in scholarships for for going into the military, and I think that speaks volumes of the type of kids we've got coming out of the high school. How did you get involved in the alumni association, at least to this degree? I, it makes me smile because I go back when I was in high school. I don't know if I was voluntold or, or how that actually worked. <laughs> I, I was groomed, I think, at a very early age. Um, truth is, I, I've always been um, a, a big uh, Martinsburg guy. I love where I come from. Uh, love the people that, that have invested in this area. And what they've invested in me as a person, uh, I wouldn't be who I am without having the people that's backed me through the years. And uh, Anita had reached out to me at a very early age. Um, I was active in a lot of uh, uh, class type stuff uh, as far as officer uh, officers in training, I guess, so to speak, and um, have been affiliated with it pretty much since I was out of school. Um, I've been on the board now for many years. Um, they've been very patient with me. Obviously, when you're younger and you have children, I mean, sometimes the 630 meetings are, are hard to get to and you've got to be at two places, three places at the same time. Uh, but uh, a great group of people. And, and um, it, uh, it's the part that I really like because it, 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 in, a, in a world of social media and everything, you get to go back and you get to see some of the people that's actually really helped build and, and stabilize the, 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 uh, the high school and, and, and what we have available to us. And um, really can't say enough good about uh, everybody that's, that's on that board. Mr. Bodwell. Oh, sorry, Matt, did I cut you off? No, I, w I, w I was just going to ask about the board. How many are on the board? So uh, we have 21 on the board uh, mm -hmm. by count. Uh, that makes up all of our members. Um, and uh, it, typically, as we have people step off, obviously, we're bringing new people back on. Um, Mary Hayward's been our president for the last year. Uh, she actually handed the gavel over to Linda Martin this year, so we do have a new president. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, again, one of the cool, cool things that I think we, we recently uh, just invested uh, in uh, cabinets in the Martinsburg Library to, to, to help store in some historical uh, documents and different things. We have a, hist a historian uh, on, on the board as well. Um, and really just trying to maintain the history and, and, and general uh, uh, knowledge that, so that it gets passed down, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can continue to keep that generational knowledge moving forward and uh, so the kids know where they come from. Uh, you know, it's home. You want them to be able to know that it's home. And with that in mind, I'm sure that board ranges from graduates many years ago to most recent. Absolutely, yes. Um, uh, we, we do, we do uh, uh, I think we've got a younger guy coming on here this year if he accepts. Uh, it is, a, it is a, a wide range of groups. For the longest time, I was the youngest guy, so mm -hmm. we're starting to see some, some new folks uh, potentially get invested and involved. Um, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really good group and I, I really have enjoyed being part of it through the years. It's, um, it's, it's been nice to be able to be part of something that has been around for such a long time, uh, has invested well in the school and um, truly believes in the kids. And that's really what it comes back to. Mr. Bodwell. So what other things does the uh, Alumni Association get involved in to help build up the current school and the, the current students? Sure. So probably one of the biggest things that we work on is, in, is trying to maintain um, the connections between each class, uh, trying to get those classes to continue to keep their, uh, their rosters up to date so that they're reaching out, um, staying in touch with those folks. You know, the, you, you go back into the 50s and those groups, I mean, when they graduate, they'll, they'll take cruises together. I mean, it's a really tight-knit group. One of the things that we've seen over the last probably 10 to 15 years is as we've transitioned from more of a in-person, you know, pick the phone up, call somebody type uh, mentality, everything's more uh, social media driven, is trying to keep that connection. And um, that has been one of the things that we've had to try to work through because historically what we would do is we would have uh, mail outs go out to basically everybody and we would get like a really good return on on those type of mail outs from our older classes for like alumni dues and, and working through that. Um, the, the younger generation we're working through uh, more of the getting into the more of the social media aspect. Uh, Joe Mercurio has been taking care of our, um, our uh, web page, uh, also managing the Facebook side of things uh, to try to try to connect more with our group, especially with now with kids. You know they're 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 hitting hitting the ground running and I mean they're everywhere so um, they're not necessarily going to just be in Martinsburg for the rest of their career. How I got two questions here. How um, how old is the oldest member of the alumni association <laughs> roughly? I mean what class, and how many members are there in the association? 
How, the oldest member. I, I, I honestly, I couldn't say off the top of my head. Just, just uh, roughly graduation year. I was just, just curious. I mean, I know Martinsburg High School's been around forever. I want to say in the last meeting it was mentioned in the 30s that, 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 that mm-hmm. we had somebody. Um, there was somebody that just passed that was 97. Um, that uh, that would have been one of our oldest members. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, that uh, yeah, I think that I think that was probably the the oldest that I can mm-hmm. that I that I know of. A lot of institutional knowledge there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Tony, what's you mentioned? You, you love the high school. You you love uh, where you live. Uh, what's been the overriding factor in terms of your loyalty to to where you live and what you do? It's home. And, and, and what I mean by that is, is that uh, you, you see the um, you see the passing of knowledge into, in, into each generation. And now having kids of my own and being at the high school, I really can see it. You see it coming full circle. Um, it's the investment of time. Uh, it's sitting here talking with you guys. I mean, just as I was joking earlier, like Matt, Matt was calling games when I was in Little League. And and, and you don't really realize how valuable that is until you have your own kids. And, um, and I'm seeing it firsthand, uh, watching, uh, for example, my kids are in band and, and watching what Miss Adams has done with the band program mm-hmm. and the growth. Um, quite frankly, as a Martinsburg Bulldog fan, mm-hmm. there's no better band cadence before a football mm-hmm. game than the Martinsburg, Martinsburg band mm-hmm. cadence. But uh, the reality of it is it's really the people. Um, I've had the privilege. I have a strong family in Martinsburg. Um, I've had a lot of good friends in, in the business community. We're, we're a growing community. There's good jobs. There's good opportunities here. And it's a, it's a true sense of, um, of just belonging. Uh, it's, a, it's a good place to grow up, and you're very close to a lot of things. You can be rural and you can be city in a matter mm-hmm. of hours. The basketball and the baseball programs have been successful at March. In fact, the baseball program may very well win a state championship again uh, this year. I think that's the first one since 2009, if I remember. 2009, yeah. Right, right. Uh, but the football program has taken things to a level where they appear to have outgrown the state. Yes. Uh, how has the success of the Martinsburg football program benefited the alumni association in the last 25 years? Well, I think I, I think like most programs, when you have that type of success, it brings a lot of awareness. It brings a lot of growth. Um, you know, one of the things that that you see in that is just the success of the kids. As you follow these guys, I mean, you know, what Tyson's done, mm-hmm. what uh, what some of the others have done, uh, just moving forward and, and with the, and the academic success. I mean, the sports part is always builds a lot of character. We know that it develops it. But the academic opportunities that, that the sports programs have provided and what the football program has done mm-hmm. for some of these kids has been fascinating. It's been great to watch. Um, you can't speak you can't speak highly enough about it. And from an alumni's perspective, it, 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 it just continues to help grow us. I mean, the, the, the whole goal is ultimately is to help, to help bring dues in, to help bring donations in, to give back to the, to the kids and to give back to it. So uh, any, any level of success that our, our, our student athletes have and that our students have as they grow academically and in their careers, um, we ultimately want to be able to celebrate that success through our alumni association. Any idea how many alumni there are from Martinsburg out there? I think the last number that I was hearing was well up over 13,000, I think is where we are. Typically mm-hmm. with our when we were doing our mailers, I might be off on a little bit of that. I can fact check that, but uh, I believe that was one of the last numbers that I was hearing. Speaking of those mailers, as a Martinsburg graduate, when should someone begin to look for that coming in the mail to make sure that they're a part of the Alumni Association? In, in years past, we typically would do that in and around the November time frame and get mm-hmm. them out then. Uh, with COVID, that kind of you know shook some things up because we couldn't get together. And here, uh, they were going out there in the spring of this year. Okay. Um, I know moving forward, we'll probably continue to analyze and, and work through the details and dynamics of, of what classes get, get mailers and what classes we'll do some social media work with. But uh, we're always analyzing and looking at that stuff to make sure that everybody has an opportunity mm-hmm. to, to be able to participate with the Alumni Association. You mentioned the scholarships that you gave out yes. at the at the the luncheon uh, just recently this past weekend. Actually, take us through that process. Uh, students at Martinsburg submit applications for these scholarships. That that is correct. Uh, we have we have several different scholarships. We have the MHS Alumni Scholarship. There's the Elizabeth Brindle Memorial Scholarship. There's a Haiti Snyder's Memorial Scholarship. The William Dunn Scholarship's a big one. Uh, they actually gave eight students. 
a thousand dollars a piece out of the Dunn Scholarship this year, uh, the John T. Morgan Scholarship, and the John P. Lynch Scholarship. Uh, there's also an alumni merit scholarship that uh, that uh, goes to a merit to one male and one female uh, coming out of the graduating class. We also have a Fred Jackson scholarship and a James Reynolds scholarship uh, that actually nobody applied for this year. So mm-hmm. getting awareness to the kids to apply for those scholarships and, uh, and put in for them. The John Lynch scholarship is a relatively new one in honor of uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Lynch, which um, I had the, the privilege of growing up under that era of Mr. Lynch. I uh, got to play uh, some sports with one of his sons and, uh, you know, just great family and, and great people to have mm-hmm. within the community. You mentioned earlier uh, where the band is now and, and, you know, the level that he rose it to. And then your daughter's even being in the band. Were you a band member as well? I was a band guy in middle school, but okay. uh, football and, yeah. and baseball kind of took over when I got into the high school scene. And, and honestly, it's one of the things I, I do regret that I gave up playing uh, playing back then because I, I always have enjoyed music and I, and I love watching watching the kids play. Yeah. What was, well, your, what was your instrument yeah, of choice? There you go. I, I, was, I was a sax guy. Uh, I All knew right. he was a sax guy. I, I played get, sax. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He's got the frame for it. Six three, six four. Definitely sax player. Yeah. Alto. I was an alto. Yeah. Yeah. Daughter's still playing my alto, so it's, right. it carries on. It carries still got on. it. Still got. It. I knew me playing. <laughs> no, <laughs> those, those are years gone by. Yeah. Hey, uh, Martinsburg, it's a great high school. Uh, I believe at one point I was told it was the most diverse high school in the state of West Virginia. And there's a lot of great programs there. Uh, over the 34 years I've worked here, I've had the opportunity to to, uh, to work with a lot of them. Obviously, the sports programs. Mm-hmm. I got to uh, MC several years of the Tournament of Bands uh, competitions sure. at Martinsburg. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Good Time Show Choir uh, and, and that uh, organization, uh, the theater groups. And whatever, and uh, I say all with, all the time, every single time, I've been impressed. Great stuff, mm-hmm. and you deserve to be proud to be an alum. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Tony, thirty seconds. How can someone get involved in the association if they've not yet? Sure, uh, we have a uh, mhsbulldogalumni.com webpage that you can reach out at to at any time to communicate. We've got the Facebook page as well. Um, the uh, that's bulldog without an s. So okay. make sure you, make sure you have that. And it's not D A W G, is it? No, it's not D A W G. <laughs> but uh, but no, they can reach out. Uh, they can uh, uh, if you go online, you'll you'll see some phone numbers and different things on there that they can reach out to. And um, we're we're here to be part of of of, of the community. So please reach out. Thanks for coming in, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Good.